Hey, it's Collins Microsystem here, and today we'll do another video of Arduino. So I'm kind of trying to make a series here of Arduino uh, microcontroller and how to hook up a bunch of different components to it. Right, so today we're gonna look up a very interesting component called the servo motor. The servo motor um, is very very important. Yeah, it's used in like almost everything from robotics also robotics and when you want to do uh you know, some cool stuff you know you can make some cool stuff so for those who don't know what a servo motor is um, servo motor it's just a motor that you know moves at a, at a very slow pace okay so it basically doesn't go at a first rpms just go slowly but you know they usually have high torque and they can lift stuff okay so this is the servo motor this is basically it and then this is the common so let's get to it so as usual we're gonna use the work we calm side and then you know i've already added that you know mega i kind of like that mega on because it's got all this pain and on you know it's pretty interesting yeah so we have that you know mega and then if you remember the last time if you watched the video of using the dht22 that i already uploaded we have to to add the component we click this plus button and then we scroll through the servo motor and then at this point we have the servo yeah here we go it's a servo motor so the next step we'll be connecting it and then servo connecting it is pretty easy so you just come here if, in case you don't know what these pins mean you just hover your mouse over here and then it's gonna tell this is the ground pin uh this is the v plus pin then this is the pwm pin the pwm is somewhat like a signal okay yeah. so um let's hook it up okay the ground comes in here and then goes there Okay, I've already connected the ground. Uh huh. The PWM, I can hook it up to any pin. So, yeah, pin 9 comes in here. And then, yeah, I've already hooked up the PWM. Then, this is the, is the, uh, this, the, the voltage part. Okay, so, this one comes in here and then. Oh, yeah, it's just as simple as that. I've already uh, managed to do the connections. Just very, very, very simple. Okay. Yeah, so this is how we connected. And then, so the next part is uh, we're going to see how to code it, right? Okay, so the first thing that you do, because the servo motor is also a library that you need to include, the servo library. Yeah, you need to. Normally, I just highlight the steps that you're gonna follow. So the first step is include the servo motor library. Okay. Second step will be once you've already included a library, just know that you're gonna have to create an object to access the functions that are stored inside that library. That's how I think about it. I think it's the best way to think about it. So create an object for accessing the functions in the library. Then, you know, doing the, the sweeps. Right, yeah, simple. Okay, we'll see. That's the, the, the general view of how to do it. So the first thing that we've said is include the library. So rush include servo attach. Okay, we already include the library. And then uh, we're gonna create an object. Create that object. Creating the servo object, which is servo. Then I'm gonna call it that my servo object right yeah and then because servo motors and is a is a it, it do sweeps across an angle you know 
this you have to provide an angle so let's create a variable to store the angle that the sub is gonna do the sweep in. and then we initialize it with zero because it doesn't have anything on the setup part we're gonna do um, my servo okay because it's the we're gonna attach there is something called attach function we have to call an attach function so that's gonna be servo object dot attach so yeah that's the first function and uh, you're gonna attach it to this the, the pwm pane you remember the pwm that you picked was this so you have to provide that this is a function that takes in the pane the pwm pane that you connected the server to so normally call it a signal pin yeah so this is signal pin and as you remember pin 9 was the signal pin all right so let's you know let's let's do something you know let's uh, sweep over a, an angle okay so that's my servo okay i don't wanna i'm getting too lazy here so so that's my servo object dot right let's do a 90 degree sweep okay yep let's do that now and then you save it by control s so you can just click here and then to run it you click the the play button here let me see if you've done everything correctly okay yeah i don't know if you noticed it but you know okay let's try this um, because it's gone to 90 degrees and it's not coming back so let's take it back my servo object do it right no zero I don't know if it's gonna go back, but let's see. Let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, see that? It's gone back. Okay, it's trying to go to zero. And then if you do this by commenting out that line, then let's see it's gonna sweep up to 90 degrees. Yeah. So imagine you got uh, you got something hooked up that you want to be pulled down at this end. You know you can do all kinds of things with this thing. It's very very important. So let's do the the most common um, example with servo motors. Okay, great. So we're gonna do a sweep, continuous sweep okay, with the servo motors. So to do that, um, we're gonna have to implement a for loop yeah for loop i but i hope by now you know what a for loop is okay you remember the angle fun the angle variable that we declared here so we're gonna have to like uh, add it here we initialize it to zero even though we had already initialized it to zero then angle is less than or equal to 80 then angle you know plus plus you know what plus plus means is it increments by one so it's a it's it will like continuously you know add steps of one degree to the r to the r uh, to the servo motor so it's going to like go from zero it's going to like you know start from zero one two three up to it do it does 180 you know something like that it starts from here and then 180 is here then it goes back you know something like that so that's what we are trying to create to why we want to make it to make uh steps of like you know one 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 steps of one steps of one okay yeah so that's my server object you know right and then position okay so when the position change when the angle changes i don't know why i keep calling that when the angle changes from zero to zero it changes from zero to one it's going to write to one you know you know the drill and then we're going to set it up a delay of you know, well, 15 microseconds will be enough yeah so that you can smooth flow like smoothly right and then uh we'll that's for going to 180 and we want for coming back Okay, so coming back, we do the reverse. If it's uh, greater than or equal to zero, and then it's gonna start at um, 180. 
Great. And then it's going to do the sweep and then the wither delay. So let's check if we've done everything correctly and then we see what's going to happen. Nice. You see how the sweeps goes? Mm. Yeah, so you can all only you can only imagine what you can do with that sweep. You, know? you can lift things up, you can make a um, a robot hand, you know, do all these kinds of crazy things with it, all these kinds of creative stuff. You can do all kinds of things. Even a watch, I mean an analog clock, you can do with this thing actually. For sure. You can do with it. Yeah. So that's how uh that's how you can do uh Savo you can connect you can wire up a server motor and then you do your thing okay yeah okay does that look like an analog clock hand to you see how it does yeah okay you should do like one 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 but then you know it looks like an analog it moves like an analog clock because I've just changed the delay from like 15 seconds or 15 microseconds to one second. Great. Yeah, um, I'm happy to solve you. If you got any questions, you can just, you know, write it on the comment section below. Uh, you know, uh, if you have anything to add on top of it, if you want me to do something to you, if you've got anything, just, you know, type it on the comment section. Anyway, like the video, subscribe if you're a new viewer and then also yeah stay tuned tomorrow man you can just hit the, the notification button as well so that stay tuned for more videos i hope you want to guess so you don't understand anything just hit me up in the comment section below i'll check right um have a good day